Welcome back. You're watching Have You Been Paying Attention? And it's time to put on the green and gold tracksuit pants as we step into the world of... And let's talk World Cup. This morning, Germany beat Argentina oh. to win the cup. Sorry, spoiler alert. I'm typing word. it. Sorry, Ed. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Name the stadium where they played. Cal. Suncorp. Uh, <laughs> it was a little sort of further afield than Suncorp. Ed. The American R, named after the popular 90s dance. <laughs> <laughs> Just before the match, Argentina was fined $340,000 for what? Ed? Uh, they, they didn't put anyone up for the press conference. You have to send a player and a coach. Forehand. They refused to send a player. They were, they were meeting with a bookie. They couldn't be, you know, <laughs> a little busy. <laughs> Pay that, Ed. Germany's Miroslav Klosser has become the World Cup's greatest ever what? Pete. Uh, goal scorer. Indeed, he has. Well done, Pete. He also makes a really good risotto. Well, there you go. That's useful information. Thank you, Tegan. In yesterday's Brazil v Netherlands game, we had the first yellow card for what? Cal. It's just someone's birthday. And they just hit it and passed it around. Yeah. I knew you wouldn't know that one. Ed. Uh, simulation, Tommy, or Indeed. diving, as they say. Diving. Pay Doesn't that. happen in soccer. First time it's ever happened. <laughs> as shocked as they were. Yeah. <laughs> All right, tell me, why is this woman so sad? I can't say nothing. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> I feel sad. How? Um, it's Lady Gaga and her album hasn't sold yet. <laughs> 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 uh, soft launch, Pete. She just realised that the parrot had died. <laughs> I'll oh. give you a clue. She's Dutch. Yeah. They lost, Tom. They lost in the uh, semi-final. Yeah. Didn't make it into the final. Germany, of course, smashed Brazil in their semi-final. What was the score? Tegan. 7 to 1. 7 to 1. It was a hopelessly one-sided match, but I love the fact that the commentator never quite gave up hope. <laughs> Five minutes to go, and Brazil needs seven to take it to extra time. <laughs> <laughs> After the match, what did Brazil's coach ask for? A new identity, Tom. Safe <laughs> passage out of the country. No, it was more specific, Tal. He asked for forgiveness, he didn't he? He did indeed ask for Never. forgiveness. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good luck. Best of luck with that. <laughs> They're not happy. Look, fans at the ground didn't take the loss well. There were riots and buses set on fire. At least those watching on TV managed to control their frustrations. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> What else can you do? The people at home doing that right now, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Tour de France started in England. What have the English spectators been criticised for? Ed. Their teeth. It was something like trackside cow. Um, they're taking selfies and getting in the way. Take a look. Oh. Yeah, cause it's Three million fans have lined the roads of England. Some in the peloton have lashed out at dangerous spectator oh. behaviour. I will pay that. Taking selfies has caused a problem. Many cyclists were frightened of stage five. Why? Nick. Magpies. They <laughs> <laughs> Even with the helmets, they can, uh, yeah. they can be a, a worry. You know, there was something particular about stage five, Ed. Uh, raining? Well, it did rain, but it was more than that. It was, Tegan? It's cobblestone? It's... Take a look at this, Tegan. You're absolutely correct. It was sections of stage five were along cobblestones in the rain. Straight through Hogwarts. <laughs> it was straight through Hogwarts, you're right. And it was absolutely insane. Take a look at this moment. Drama unfolding right in front of our very eyes. What was the drama? Cal. He was using a car. Yeah, that was a serious breach. She's got in there. She's got in there. I mean, how many bikes she put on the top? Still a car. Still a car. <laughs> That's worse than Lance Armstrong, if you ask me. That is That's worse. worse. That is He's worse. on petrol. Um, and cheating. But no, there was actually a moment there. Did. Uh, he, the, the leader, uh, the, the race leader retired. He was injured. Chris Froome retired last year's winner after falling off three times. All right, State of Origin 3 was a blowout. Who won? Hey. Uh, the Maroons won, but the New South Wales won the series. 2-1. Oh, I shall pay wow. that. They celebrated wildly. They were bubbling to yeah, it. Man. Well, yeah, after, man. well after midnight. Within their own <laughs> locker rooms. Uh, <laughs> Manly player David Williams has been found guilty of what? Cow. Looking like Jesus. <laughs> 
I'm not sure that's actually a, a, an offence before the judiciary. Anyone, uh, Ed? He's been betting, Tom, he's been betting on games. Oh, that he's been playing in. He's so. betting on his own games. After his Wimbledon success, Nick Kyrgios is now ranked what? <laughs> Tegan. According to Australians, number one. Yeah, he is number one. As far as I know. Around the world, but it's a little lower than that. But I'll give you a clue. It's in the top 100. Pete. 67. Oh, Pete, 66. Mm. Really? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> no points. Yeah, no, no, no points. No, sorry. Tell me, what are we looking at here? Pete. The Avatar the musical. <laughs> A really daggy version of Game of Thrones. Okay. Which is in the law in our system, it is in fact. Anyone know? Hey, please. It is uh, the Scot Scottish uniform for the Commonwealth Games. Indeed, oh. it is. Oh. I was holding back. So you cool. had it, Pete. They, they've Baby. popped. Is the hat? What's the hat? Is that can't that be just... part of That's it. That's for the swimming. That's for somebody's. <laughs> That's the person who's driving them to the event. I don't know. The uniforms have copped a lot of flack. Mind you, they look better from behind. Yeah, Tommy. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. Now we're getting somewhere. What will Liesl Jones be doing at the Commonwealth Games? <laughs> Still knocks in Red Bull. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. She's not competing, therefore she must be Pete. Commentating for Channel 10. Pete, you are coming home. Are you the coverage? Mr Hellier. Yeah, are we watching at home? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> it's time for a break. We're leaving with this question. In the third of France, who gets to wear the ultimate shot jersey? Well, I'll be answer right after this. And the answer to our question, in the Tour de France, who gets to wear the polka dot jersey? Does anyone know? Polka dot. Ed? The leader of the climbing. King uh, of the mountain. Yeah. person who makes it to the peak first. No points there. No All right, time for a little segment we call One on One. Our contestants each get one go at answering a specially formulated question. Pete, let's kick off with you. Sure, sure. Which of these <laughs> tennis players did not win a Wimbledon title this year? Petra Kvitova, Mark Bryan, Sam Stoza, Mark Filipousas, Novak Djokovic. Pretty sure some of them aren't actually tennis players, to be honest. But uh, I think they're, yeah. I think they're well, all rigid itch. Which one didn't win a Wimbledon title this year? I would say it would be Mark Filipousas. What makes you say that, Pete? Because <laughs> last time I saw him, he was on the Age of Love. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, you no, won't. I, I, I'm going to take the mind, actually. No. <laughs> it's Mark, Mark Bryan. Bryan. Yes. What did Philippoussis win? He won the Gentleman's Invitational Doubles. I'm very glad for him. <laughs> for all that. Nick. Yeah. This was a MasterChef challenge during the week. Now, we've left a few pieces blank. I'll give you ten <laughs> points if you can name any of them. I'm just looking for a cut of meat. Well, what do you mean? What's underneath one of those three pieces of meat? Oh. Traditionally, if you're a butcher, you go oh, and give you a nice... Hanger. Hanger steak. Hanger steak? Hanger steak. Bang. Well done, Mickey. Tim. <laughs> I'm afraid the answers are rump, brisket and scotch fillet. As I said, rump, brisket. <laughs> <laughs> Can't pay that, Mickey. Tegan, let's see if you can get on the board. Which of these shows was not nominated for the Outstanding Drama Emmy? Downton Abbey, Game of Thrones, Homeland, House of Cards, Breaking Bad. It was controversy. But really? Fans, okay. Fans felt it should have uh, should have been nominated. Then in that case, uh, I know that Breaking Bad did. House of Cards? Is that your answer? Well, if it was controversial, I'm going to... Yeah, okay, yes. Yes. <laughs> good to hear you're confident. Uh, good to hear you're wrong. It's Homeland. <laughs> oh, that's not controversial. That's bollocks. That's <laughs> from the 10 Network, quickly. Yeah. It's really good. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Alright, uh, Cal, let's see if we can get someone on the board with this one on one. Uh, World Cup. Many said the Argentina v Netherlands match would come down to a competition between these two men. I said that, I did say that. Well, I want you to say something more. For 10 points, okay. I want you to pronounce both of their names correctly. All of the bits? All of the bits. Or what I call them. Uh, Lionel Messi. And um, Ian Robin? Yeah. Let's have a listen. Lionel Messi and Ian Robin. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ian, hello. 
Which of these countries is the Tour de France not going through this year? France, Belgium, UK, Germany, Spain. Hi, Tom. <laughs> How are you? I'm excellent. I'd love to know. I'm not the... going for time. You I are. just really. What? Jeremy. Is that your answer? Stop saying that. Yes, it is. <laughs> You'd be correct. Ed Cavalier gets right. the point. <laughs> All right. Time for a bit of either or. Mick, we're going to start with you. Bingo. Jocko Widodo, Cameroon yeah. midfielder charged with match fixing or Indonesian president elect? <laughs> <laughs> and it's racist if you don't know. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm stupid here, really, aren't I? Joko with Dodo. Oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, he's a, he's, a, he's a footballer. He's, in fact, an Indonesian president elect. Oh. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, Nicky. All right, Tegan. Jaffna, elephant rescued from Indian farm after 50 years in chains, or Sri Lankan city just visited by Scott Morrison? I'm going to go the city. Any oh. reason? No. No? Good. <laughs> That's a good reason. No reason. Uh, Tegan, I shall pay that. In fact, ah. uh, the elephant was Raju. Jeff, that's the Sri Lankan town. Ten points to you. Ed. Hi. Richie Port, Australian cyclist, now leading Team Sky in the Tour de France. I'll stop you there, Tom. It is that. Don't worry about what the next one is. <laughs> or winner of this year's Archibald Prize. Like, no one knows that one is it anyway, so it is definitely the cyclist. Ed, I will give you the Thank ten you, points. Well done, you. <laughs> How? Steel Jaws, Israeli anti-missile defence system or robots from Transformers 4? Uh, it's, it's actually my Twitter name. Rolling <laughs> <laughs> well, that one out, Israeli anti-missile defence system or the Transformer uh, 4 robots? It would be really dicky if it was the Israeli defence system, but it would also be really dicky if it was a Transformer. Mm. Um, Choose your dick. <laughs> so That's what you say to all the girls. Um, you just now. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's just give me an impression, like, you know, when you hand out cigars, like, ladies. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to say that it is the Israeli defence system. No, that's called Iron Dome. <laughs> These are, in fact, the humanoid robots from Transformers 4. That's dog, Tom. That wasn't a humanoid that we saw there. <laughs> that's all we got. Pete. Yes, please. Komatsu. Powerful typhoon that just lashed Japan, uh. or giant tire Tony Abbott and Shinzo Abe closed <laughs> in front of? Uh, I am going to go to typhoon that hit Japan. Tom, no, <laughs> no, it's a tire. It's a tire. It's the typhoon tire. It's, it's a bit of both. Your uh, answer, please, please. Uh, typhoon. Typhoon. I'm afraid it's the giant tire. <laughs> Brings us to the end of the segment. Oh, 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 oh. We're back here watching Have You Been Let's kick this round off with a little join the dots action. Cal, we'll start with you. What's the link between these two images, Shinzo Abe and R.M. Williams? Uh, the R.M. Williams boots are made of whale leather. Um, no, You're but, a thinker, um, but... The, the, the photo that the Prime Minister had uh, with the Japanese Prime Minister, they had their shiny boots up on the mm -hmm. Komatsu tyre. Hey. Um, <laughs> and they are, are in Williams boots. You were so close, and why do you think Shinzo was wearing because the same they boots? Were a present. You got it. It was Australia's official gift to the Japanese Prime Minister. Pay that. Pete. Yes. Gollum from The Lord of the Rings and Caesar from Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Join the dots on those two for me. They, uh, this week, both came out to Michael Parkinson. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a great interview next Sunday uh, night. No, actually, I do know this. this uh, they're both played uh, by Andy Serkis. Pete Hellier, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no. Well done. All right, Ed. Hi. Justin Bieber <laughs> and an egg. <laughs> Both should be thrown at a wall. Um, <laughs> you no, I don't. I, no, I, 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 he's been fined for throwing eggs. You are absolutely oh, correct. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sentenced to two years probation for throwing eggs at a neighbour's house. There there we go. You lucked your way there. Well done, you. That'd give you a bit of credit in the big house, wouldn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what are you in for? I egged someone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tegan. This Belgian fan oh, wow. and L'Oreal. What is the link? Take your time, Tegan. Yeah. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> I know this she um 
she was spotted and then got to do a promotion with L'Oreal, like they signed her to do promotion because she's beautiful. And, and Axel is her name, she was spotted in the crowd, the photo went viral and she got the L'Oreal contract. Pay yeah. that. However, she's since lost her L'Oreal contract. <laughs> Can anyone tell me why for 10 points? Yeah. Tegan. Because, <laughs> go on Pete. No, I feel really we'll bad now. You were there, you're going to hand the answer over to Pete? Yeah, all right, all right go on, Pete. Pete. Why did she lose her contract? She wore a parrot hat and it, um... <laughs> 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 she um she posted a photo on I think it was Facebook or Twitter with her hunting in Africa and she had like a dead gazelle. I Take think a look at the aforementioned her. dead gazelle. So L'Oreal have yeah. decided not a good fit with she's the. Not uh, great. She's hot and she lethal. Just better and better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mickey. Right, yeah. Ty Burrell and Iranian actor Mehdi Soltani. Yeah, it's a before and after shot of the same. <laughs> yeah. He's in the, he's in the. He's in the uh, Uruguayan version of Modern Family. <laughs> Mickey, you were so role. close, you don't know. Oh, well, give it to plays, me! One of them plays Phil Dunphy in the US version, mm -hmm. the other plays Phil Dunphy in the... Uh, Kazakhstani <laughs> version. A bit more You're circling the globe, Mickey. I'm afraid it's the Iranian <laughs> version of Modern Family. And have a look, we've got the two versions back to back, Iran on the left. <laughs> Oh, forget it. I can't do this. Point is, well, I'm scared. Need to try I think you've learned your lesson. Wow. Ah, ah. <laughs> I, think that, I think that might have been a director's cut. All right, hands back on buzzers and lab coats on. It's time for... Science. A study has found that watching comedy can help with what? How? Jobs for comedians. Yes. <laughs> to give you the points there, Cal Tegan. I think it's memory, but I actually, I, I do remember reading it, but I've forgotten, You've but I think it's memory. <laughs> Tegan, I'll play that short-term memory. Yes. Uh, Sadly, uh, won't affect this audience here tonight. <laughs> uh, We've all forgotten that last question. A British research team has found that eating cheese before bed does what? Nick. It uh, increases the impact of a Dutch oven by about... <laughs> About 50%, Tommy. Oh, I can imagine the yeah. clinical trials on that, Mickey. No, it's more... It, it's, it affects your... Pete. Weight loss. Um, <laughs> what, eating cheese makes you... Skinnier, I would imagine. That's just working for me. <laughs> it, affects, it affects your dreams. Does Mickey, it, make dream... it affects your sleep and dreams, but doesn't cause nightmares. Pay that, Mickey. Well done. A new study reveals that kids who are cool in school grow up to be what? Mickey. Giant knobs. Um, <laughs> you'd love to think that was the... Actually, Mick? Yes. Yeah, unhappy and less successful, I think, otherwise known as giant knobs. I'll pay that. <laughs> <laughs> it's been discovered that fidgeting can ward off what? Pete. Terrorists. <laughs> How does that work, Pete? Just say they don't like it. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> fact, I don't know the link, but it's heart disease. Apparently fidgeters oh, get less heart disease. There you go. <laughs> what was special about the full moon on Saturday? Tegan. It was a supermoon. Indeed it was. Closest it's been to the Earth in 18 years. Pay that. This seal is helping scientists. How? Ed. He's mapping the ocean for Google Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that his headwear apparently measures climate change. And that brings us to the end of the round. Wrap it up. And we're heading into the final round. A lot to play for tonight. We've got the Channel 10 gift basket Ooh. featuring a MasterChef cookbook. We've That's got the fantastic. Offspring CD. Oh, wow. And this is great. It's a, a project. Uh, yeah. DVD, a special project. Pete, thanks for bringing that in tonight. Is that an original? <laughs> and Pete, I must say, great first time uh, effort uh, this evening. You're sitting in Sam's seat, and I know Sam is very happy for you. <laughs> it's not too late to make a final run for home. Hands on buzzers, it's time for... <laughs> Why is this company in the news? Cal. Because it's not a company anymore. Crazy Johns are closing a lot of their stores by September, or all of them. A survey has shown that taxis in Melbourne and Sydney are what? Nick. Shithouse. <laughs> uh, 
Tegan. They're actually the most expensive. Some of the most expensive in the world. Pay that. Edward Snowden has asked Russia to do what? Nick. Mind his computer. Uh, <laughs> probably doing that already. Uh, Cal. Uh, they, they want, he wants to stay a bit longer. Extend his asylum. Pay that one. What is the voting age in Indonesia? Hey. 67. Sixty-six. Sixty-six. <laughs> a little bit lower. Anyone know this one? Ed. Eighteen. Seventeen. Mm. Name the typhoon that just hit Japan. <laughs> <Hey>. No. <laughs> In fact, it's Typhoon Gary. <laughs> or its Japanese name, Neoguri. Very close. Which but... is for Japanese for Gary. No, <laughs> No, I can't play that, sorry, Pete. Why is this Italian village in the news? Ed. Is that the one that's for sale? Indeed. They've put their entire town of Calzazio up for sale on eBay. Bang. And for an extra 2,000 euros, you can get Greece. So that's um, <laughs> a good <laughs> deal. Drummer yes. Tommy Ramone died on Saturday. How many original Ramones members are still alive? Pete. Uh, none. He was the last. Pay that, Pete. Megan Washington has sued Qantas for what? Tegan. Their breakfasts. Um, <laughs> that's a class action, I'm guessing. Uh, Pete. They used her song uh, at a function or something. I still call yeah. Australia home. They yes. used a clip of her singing it, uh, she claims, without permission. This week, 45 years ago, man first set foot on. Tegan. The moon. Indeed. You can believe that if you want to. <laughs> oh, oh, hear me. Just saying. Uh, here. What record have these people just broken? <laughs> Cow. Uh, people dressed as cows? Most people in cow onesies in <laughs> cow <laughs> in WA. You, you were guessing. Splitting, splitting hairs, so really. I'll go to my house on a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> Cal, I'll Real pay cash. that. They're actually about to get cut up for a MasterChef challenge as nice. well. Right? <laughs> but we got them just in time. Right. Vladimir Putin visited what country on Friday? Ed. I don't know, but does he own it now? Um, it? <laughs> sort of, uh, financially, that's, it was in fact Cuba. Uh -huh. Costa Concordia's captain Scatino has blamed the crash on who? Mick. Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> He's worth the shot, Ed. Uh, his helmsman. His helmsman, she apparently. Was <laughs> she was naked. She was and naked at the time. <laughs> Quite correct. Name the government. Oh, and that brings us to the end of the show. Let's check the leaderboard. And our winner is Ed Cavalli. <laughs> Our winner and thank you to all our contestants. We'll leave you tonight with another moment gone wrong from TV News. This one, a US anchor who forgot to pause. Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. Dana is off tonight. He was murdered and then set on fire while celebrating his birthday. I think we needed a comma. See you next week, Australia.